it's creating a blend space and also have a look at beginning a state machine. We we'll start with the blend space and we'll be blending from idle into walk into run. The blend space will allow us to move from a idle into a walk and finally a run all by simply pressing forward on our keyboard or on our game input. So if we first double click on our blend space and open up the blend space window then we'll be able to load in the necessary animations and place them along our blend space timeline. Okay, so currently I have access to nothing because um, I'm not in the asset browser. So here's all of my animations and what I want is I want idle on the left, walk in the middle and run on the right. So if I get my idle and drag it down here there's our idle and now we'll get our walk and I'll check it there so now we can blend from our idle slowly into our walk and then finally we want our run so now we go from idle to walk slowly if I could just actually place that guy there come on Okay, that's being a pain. Come on, run. You can do it. There we go. So from idle into walk into our run. <laughs> I really, I really do this run. Perfect. Save that. So we now have Aegis Blend down here. That's our blend space. So if we open up our Anim Blueprint, we can now start hooking up some animations. So I'm going to create a state machine. So there we go, add state machine. And this will drive all of the different actions of our character. So I connect that in there. And then if I click into this state machine, again, that's totally empty. And here's where we need to make a few transitions. So the first one first thing that we want her doing is idling. So that blend space comes in handy now because she will idle until she moves forward in which case she will walk and then run. So this is going to be idle walk run and if I click into there this is where we can now start to add in our blend space so chuck that guy there I can connect him there but we also need to tell the computer to get some kind of speed variable so I'm gonna make a new variable here and call it speed while I'm here I'm also gonna make the other variables I need so I'm gonna need one for is in air this is for when she's jumping and I'm also gonna make one for is attacking now this speed needs to be a float variable instead of a boolean so I just select it and in the details column here change that from boolean into a float and now I can chuck this guy in plug him in and when I compile that it will be driving the uh, the blend space so now we have our idling so the next step is to make our jump start okay and in our rule here where it's asking what allows us to enter this transition we're gonna have is in air so if the character is in the air then she can jump okay and then once she's in the air we need to make a transition to being in air oh I did that wrong make a new state and we're also going to need another for landing And 
and then that will connect back to our idle. Okay, so let's have a look at the rules here. So once she started her jump, she is then allowed to transition into the peak of her jump. So it's the same thing again. Is in air? Yes. Then she can transition into the next phase, which is this part. And that will be our idle. There no, she is. Aegis in air. So now, when when she when we trigger jump, as soon as she is in air, it will allow the start of the jump. Once that's ended, it will trigger the looping of the in air animation, and then we need to tell it that once that's finished, we will then go into our landing. So it's slightly different the rule here, because she will only be allowed to land when she's not in the air. So we'll take the is in air, but instead of saying yes, if she's in air she can enter that transition, we're going to say the opposite. If she's in if she's not in the air, then she can enter the enter the transition. So we need a Boolean not. So now our engine will check to see if she is not in the air, and if she is not in the air, then she can enter landing. Okay, I'll best compile all of these things. Okay, and we also want this to run backwards because if she is not landing, then she needs to continue looping. So we need our is in air <coughs> so that she can continue looping. Okay, so now to transition back into our idle uh, state, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, we need the animation of landing to end before we can transition back into idle. So what I'm going to do is type in remaining and get time remaining Aegis landing. So this is going to check what time is remaining for Aegis to be landing and then I'm going to have a less so now I'm going to have a float which is less than so what this does is says if if there is less than this time remaining then she can enter the transition so it will only play the idle when there is uh, let's say 0.5 remaining in the landing animation. Okay. Okay, so hopefully that is our state machine all working how we would like it to be. It's probably something I've forgotten, but um, we can deal with that as and when it pops up. <laughs>